Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today we have a another declutter, well another collection video, potentially with some decluttered makeup, not really sure yet, but this here is two drawers out of my Alex drawers. I have my drawer that has all the foundations and concealers and also my drawer of setting sprays. A lot of this stuff is very old. I don't really know how I would test a lot of this stuff anyway. But I'm just gonna kinda go with my intuition. And if I don't feel like moving things, I'm not gonna move them. I have a feeling that a bunch of the foundations are gonna have to go because I kind of really pulled back on buying foundations lately. And yeah, I don't know the system we're gonna do this. I really thought about splitting everything up, but I figure, you know what, let's just grab things, talk about them. And at the end, we can kind of compare how much I'm keeping versus decluttering from each category. So if this chaos is something you're interested in seeing, then keep on watching. Let's go. I also think I'm going to make a baseline where if this product moved into this house with me in January of 2019, it cannot move out of this house with me. So I feel like that's a really good starting point for foundation considering I've lived in this house like five and a half years. Really setting the bar high in this video. All right. So I'm gonna kind of just start up here because there's a bunch of stuff up here. This first product I got in an, Itsy, in an Ipsy bag from Honey Jarrett. This is their clean cover cushion foundation in one light vanilla. I feel like I've used this once and the shade really didn't work for me. So I think I'm gonna declutter that. Nothing here is like less than a year old. So like everything has to be thrown out, <laughs> sadly. All right, here. I don't think I've tried this one. This is the Yenza BC foundation, full coverage. I might keep this one because my favorite foundation right now is from Yenza and this is small enough that I don't mind moving it with me. This is my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my favorite summertime setting spray to use. I do have a small Mac Fix Plus. I do really love this product. This is from Pure and it's the 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I got this, I think, as a free sample from Ipsy a while ago. I actually didn't like this foundation, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Here's another little all-nighter. I do think I tried this from It Cosmetics. They're CC oil-free. I didn't like it, so I'm just gonna declutter that. This is a free gift I got from Ulta This Clinique. Even Better Refresh Foundation many years ago, and I did not like it, so declutter. I do like this one. I've actually made a bunch of progress in it. The Olay simply ageless foundation, so I will be keeping that. This is actually what's currently in my project pan, the INN Beauty Project uh, setting spray. My biggest gripe with this right now is that I don't like the sprayer. The actual product is fine. I just, I'm not loving the spray situation on this one. This is the foundation I've been wearing nonstop, the Yenza Super Serum Silk Foundation. I'm wearing this right now. I've been literally for like the last like couple of months, every time I'm wearing foundation, it's this one. So yes. Definitely keeping. I got this concealer last year, the Catrice Super True Skin Concealer. I do like this one, but it did not turn into an all-time favorite. So like I certainly will use it up, but it's not an all-time favorite. I have the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. I have gone through a full size of this before. It's a good setting spray. It's not like an all-time favorite, but it's good enough to use. Oof, I need to check this Wonder Beauty. The Nude Illusion. Is this one older than five and a half years? Oh yeah, that smells like paint thinner, so that's going. Oh gosh, this one, the Pure Lease BB Concealer. I got this in one of my like very last Ipsy bags. This is one of the worst concealers I've ever tried in my life. No situation with like sponge, brush, fingertips could properly apply this and blend it out without it being like cakey as anything, so definitely decluttering. I have a bunch of these like samples. I'm not moving these with me, so any kind of sample like this is going. I did just, this is probably my newest foundation. I just received this recently from hey, Smashbox, their Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer. I have it in light neutral. The one or two times I tried it, I was not self tanned and this color is a little bit darker than my natural color. So I really need to try it like in the summertime and see how I like it. It does have SPF 25 in it. So I'll have to give it a better try this summer. This is the Pixie Glow Mist. I've gone through a couple of these in the past. I probably should try to use this one up sooner rather than later. I have like three of these Pat McGrath Lab ones. I'm getting rid of that. This is the Haley's Beauty sample, getting rid of that. This is a Haley's Beauty. This is their drop foundation. I decluttered the full size of this last month because it was expired and broke out my skin. I have the Dior 24 hour perfect. I'm gonna declare this, I don't think I liked it. Studio Makeup Flawless Foundation. I feel like I didn't like this. I don't feel like I'm gonna keep this. This is actually turning into a ruthless declutter, which is way overdue with my foundation. Flower Beauty Concealer, I bought this last year. The shade is very light, so I certainly can only use it in like the winter time, but it's a fine concealer, not an all time favorite though. 
I don't like this concealer from Koki. I have gone through a full size of the lighter shade of this, but this one, it's just way too dark and orange. So I'm not moving. I'm not, it's not coming to the new house. Here we have Forever Glow from Dior, a skin glow, a skin glow. Is this the one people like? I've never tried it. I might keep this to give it a try. I have another MAC Fix Plus. Tarte Ultra Creamy, not a favorite, but not unusable. So I'm gonna keep it. Pretty sure it cosmetics bye bye foundation moved to this house with me, so this will be decluttered. Pixie illuminating tint and conceal tinted moisturizer. I don't think I liked this one. Oh my gosh, this isn't even opened. Hmm. Light glow. You know what? I'll, this is not even opened. Um, I'll keep it and try it. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Uh, Shiseido. I've heard great things about this foundation, but I'm just gonna declutter this. Uh, Fenty Beauty, ooh, the hydrating longwear foundation. Isn't this the one that no one liked? I mean, I liked it. Actually, there's windowing in it. Mm, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. It did not move to this house with me. The Misha BB Perfect, BB Cream Perfect Cover. I'm gonna keep that. This is L'Oreal Pro Glow. I, I think both of these Pro Glows are fine. They're also both kind of low, so maybe I can finish them off this year. Ooh, VDL, ooh, this one is like, this one's low. I wore this one all the time when I was pregnant and all the time postpartum, but like, look at that. There's like so much windowing. I think this one's nearly empty. And this is like a like very full coverage. When I was off birth control and pregnant and having terrible breakouts, like this is not really what I want these days. So I'm gonna declutter. Uh, my Revlon Can did. This one's also very low. I hopefully maybe could finish this one off this year. I can literally see through the packaging. So there can't be much left in there. Ooh, this, ooh, this was a favorite. 2019 me wore this one all the time. I'll keep it the uh, infallible fresh wear. This found sealer from Tarte, I didn't like it and there's almost nothing left. I'm just gonna declutter. Okay, this Flower Beauty Light Illusion certainly moved with me into this house, so this certainly is not moving out. This is my favorite concealer, the Bear With Me Serum Concealer from NYX. This is what I wear nonstop. This one is brand new, haven't even opened it. The Lottie London Stay Matte AF Setting Spray. Um, I did get this in PR. Summertime will be a great time to test it out though. I have another mini of the Cover FX setting spray. I actually wore this one the other day. Phoebe wanted me to try it on the Tarte Ready Set Radiant. I have gone through like a like a mini size of this before. There's about half of this left. I think I got it in an Ipsy or a Boxy Charm. Ooh, the number seven custom made blend. I think I'm gonna declutter these. I used to love these. I have two of them, but they're they're old and they are not what I reach for anymore. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of these. Oh, this is a little mini, 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 mini all nighter. This Bye Bye Foundation from Hit Cosmetics definitely moved to this house with me, so I'm definitely getting rid of that. Ooh, a mini, mini, mini MAC Fix Plus. This was sent to me in PR, the Halo Perfect, like it's a, the, from the Halo line from Smashbox, it's their concealer, it's okay. I just, I'm not a big fan of like the brush concealers, but it's fine. Another all nighter. This pretty vulgar concealer, um, did I take the stop? Yeah, I actually recently took the stopper out. So I'm actually in the process of trying to fin fully pan this one. So hopefully this year, this one will be done. This is a color corrector, like um, an eye brightener from Milani. It's pretty good. It's not Becca, but it's pretty good. This one, when I was putting in here, I realized is empty. The Wet n Wild matte finish. So I'm gonna be decluttering that. I don't know how, but also this one's empty too. The Sweet Chef Ginger Kombucha Chill Mist, also empty. Don't know how. That happened. I really like this, the BB cream from Purito. Um, I wear this one if I'm not wearing the Yenza one, so definitely keeping that. This one from Skin & Co, their Radiant Dew. It's pretty good, not bad. Oh, this is going, this NARS, yeah, this is going. I don't, ugh, definitely going yuck. Forgot I owned that. Oh, I like this one, the Wannabe Fresh Makeup Spray from Ulta Beauty, that's a good one. This is the one I'm wearing right now. I actually got this from my mom. Found it in my skincare backups when I was packing and was like, huh, this kind of seems like it would be a really nice over makeup. And I've been wearing it nonstop. I'm wearing it right now. The Tula Probiotics and Superfoods. It's really nice. Oh, this is, this is an all time favorite for me. I mean, look at that. The Becca under eye corrector. This is from when Becca was still Becca. I'll have to get it now under Smashbox, but this is one of my favorite products ever. This is the Koki Full Cover Foundation. I've never tried it and it looks old and nasty, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. This is from Pacifica, their Glow Baby Setting Mist. This is very, very, very glowy. I have this Catrice Prime and Care Spray. This one's okay. It's not as good as the Glowy Fixing Spray. This from Fenty is one of my newer foundations. It's honestly pretty low. This would be the second one of these I've had. Um, I'm a big fan of this product. And then the last guy here, the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation SPF 20. I would, I would try that, a serum foundation. Okay, now 
Let's do some totals. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this category for the packing overwhelmed me the most because I knew how unhappy I was with my foundation collection out of everything. So it looks like about halfway. So let's see, I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Decluttering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So decluttering more than half. And then I also have like six foundation sample packs here. So this feels amazing. The only one I'm not gonna pack is the Yenza that I've been wearing. This will be my foundation forever until these get packed again. So let's do setting sprays next. All right, this is my setting spray collection with what I'm keeping. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'm decluttering these two that are completely empty. What I'm gonna keep out, definitely the Tula. I've really been liking it, but I think I might take, keep out also these two little matte um, all-nighters just because on days when like I know we're doing like act outdoor activities a lot, I do like to use this in the summer and I'd rather just have these two little ones than the one big one. Now concealers. Okay, so I have eight products here total. Six are concealers, two are eye brighteners, and then I'm decluttering three. So this, pro this category has really, really, really been dwindling down. So I'm happy with this and I will be keeping out my Becca and my NYX and everything else will get packed. So here's a final view of everything that's getting decluttered and taken out of my uh, inventory on my spreadsheet. And yeah, I hope you guys like this one. The next video I'm planning is going to be my highlighter and bronzer drawer because my blush drawer has a lot in it versus my bronzer and highlighters aren't a lot. So I feel like the two of those could go together in one video. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below. Give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.